my wife is convinced that I will cheat on her because she's pregnant. Story 1. Long story short my father cheated on my mother with my stepmother, my wife, in our 7 year relationship for dating. 3 married. Has never met my father, stepmother, half siblings, step uncles, or my step grandfather. My mother convinced my wife she didn't want any of them at the wedding or have any holidays with them the entirety of our relationship. My wife was cheated on in the past but moved past that or so I thought. Well my wife and I recently found out we're having our first child but my wife is not excited or happy at all because my mother told her that. My father cheated on my mother once she got pregnant yes. Accurate. But it was before either of my parents knew my mother was pregnant with me. My wife is convinced that he'll cheat on her because she's pregnant. Very unlikely as she's the most amazing woman I've met and no one can hold a candle to her on looks. My mother just says him my father's son which really pissing me off. But because my wife hasn't met my father she says that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. She does trust me. She says she trusts me. But she cries every time my phone goes off. My stepmother. Who I call mama. Says to not vilify my mother and be a supportive husband to my wife as I can be. She even bought me some stuff to pamper my wife with because she deserves to be loved and pampered like the beautiful woman she is. And how pregnancy is tough on women's bodies I trusted the woman who was pregnant three times. Once with twins. So, besides the obvious, how can I get my wife to calm down and enjoy her pregnancy? Or convince her that I will not cheat on her? I love my wife, she makes me whole, there will never be anyone but her. Edit. To add my father and stepmother owned up to what they did to me years ago. They always apologize to my mother whenever they see her because she constantly brings to up. I'm almost 30, but my mother will not stop making jabs at my father about my stepmother. I'll see what I can do about that. Edit to okay. Message taken. Separate my wife and mother. Currently looking for therapists and going to break out a couple face masks so my wife will be in a good mood when I talk to her. Maybe give her a massage. But I need to talk to her and cut contact with my mom. Story 2. For more years and I'm free. Do I tell her? I've been married for 20 years and most of this time has been spent in the shadow of my wife's infidelity. About 3 years into the marriage she began a relationship with someone I considered a good friend. I used to travel a lot for work and she used these occasions to see him. We had 2 kids and she'd pay our babysitter to watch them while she was hooking up with this guy. I found out in year 4 after a mutual friend found out and told my wife she had 1 week to tell me or it would be made public. At that time she told me it was just flirting and inappropriate talk and like a fool I believed her. The friend she had been seeing even apologized to me to my face. It all seemed too sincere to me at the time. A few months later this mutual friend of ours discovered that she didn't confess everything to me. So she was threatened again and this time she admitted to a physical relationship. I tried getting details from her, but quickly realized that she was incapable of being honest with me, and I decided to seek advice on divorce. During this time our house was a war zone. I could see what it was doing to the kids and my oldest. Three at this time. Could sense that my wife had done something that hurt me. I could also see that the anger between my wife and I was hurting my daughter in ways that might be permanent if I don't stop. One morning. While sitting alone and grieving over the situation, I turned on the TV for some distraction. Kelly Clarkson's video of Because of You came on and it just broke my heart for my kids. I determined to be there for them no matter what. For good or bad that's what I've done. Within a couple months I had severed all feelings for my wife and this allowed me to stay in her presence and raise our kids. We even had another child a couple years later. I don't regret one moment of the time I've had with our kids. They are my life, my joy, my reason for existing. During the years since her first affair was revealed I've checked in on her communication with her others. I work in a very high tech field which has exposed me to tools and methods that have made keeping a digital eye on her easy. Here's some of the things I've dealt with over the years. She had three guys going online at one time for about a year. They had very implicit conversations and shared makeup stories to gain the sympathy of each of them. She confided to another man to have been with a total of 8 men besides me by the time she confessed to her first affair. 
My kids have told me about Mensch's taken them along to meet with and hang out in public. She told me she met one of these guys at a coffee shop to supposedly let him borrow her computer. An examination of the activity on her computer showed that she had watched PRN during this time and I'm sure they weren't at a coffee shop. I've had wives of men contact me on social media to warn me. One even provided chat logs and pictures of a phone bill showing how many times they call each other. I had a business acquaintance tell me he heard a guy in his business bragging about the married woman he had been hooking up with. He overheard him say her first name and described her and he knew it was my wife. This hurt me a lot. Even after I started to go cold. I'm so broken and cold now that the last time an upset wife contacted me to present evidence of an inappropriate relationship it only got. Me mildly upset because I'm just so over this. My anger and response to my wife was about on the level I might express to a Burger King employee if they gave me a medium drink rather than a large. I don't raise my voice anymore. I don't demand she explain she's guilty of so much and I isn't going to tell the truth. I just tell her I'm disappointed. Over the years she said she wants to repair the mess she's made but has never made more than a 48 hour attempt at change. She even took me on vacation to my favorite place for our 20 year anniversary, but this isn't enough to erase the past or future transgressions. I'm waiting until our youngest is on his own, which will likely happen in about 4 years. When has settled into his own life I'm filing for divorce. My wife is a competitive and motivated achiever. She works a few jobs and her income is about 10 more than mine so I'm sure it will be easy to split things down the middle with no alimony. Selling our house will give each of us enough to buy a smaller house more suited to our needs as single with no kids. I know what a PS my wife is. I get regular STD tests. I know I chose to live in misery, so my kids will have their dad to put them to bed and make them breakfast. I don't regret this decision and would do it again. The only thing I'm unsure of is if I should tell my wife that I'll be divorcing her in a few years. Does she even need to know at this point? Will this just make things worse? TL. Doctor I'm divorcing my cheating wife just as soon as our youngest kid is on his own. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. I wouldn't tell her s it. Does she tell you when she's gonna cheat? Of course not. I'd blindside her when the time comes. You don't owe her a heads up at all. You owe her nothing. I couldn't wait like you are. But I respect a man with a plan. Yeah I've got 4 years to put an exit plan in motion. So be smart about it. Protect your assets and yourself. Redditor 2. First of all did you get a DNA test for the kids? You say your wife has been having all these affairs since day one. I won't say anything about divorce until you've got everything lined up and have all the evidence over the years in order. Talk to an attorney. That way you'll have all your bases covered. Be sure to get that DNA test as soon as possible. Uh